All right, so we just came from the Museum of Classical Art, and now we're heading into the Museum of um, Modern Art. But actually, just like we were watching, um, we were looking at art from all over the world and from all time periods. You know, now we're looking at Cuban art. So this is all modern Cuban art. So we're just um, in the hallway heading towards the museum itself. Podemos pasar? Gracias. Interesante, ¿verdad? Como lo tienen. Interesting how they have everything uh, behind, like caged, like imprisoned. You know, you saw the Van Gogh and all that stuff imprisoned. Look at that, how interesting. So this thing right here, we saw, um, they made like um, cloth or paper re reproductions of this right here. And in, a, in one of the parts of the city where we're staying at, close to where we're staying at, they had like a whole street lined with those that was really interesting interesante ¿eh? me este museo look at that All right, now watch us. We're gonna, all right, a bird's eye view of getting a picture taken. I love this. I love this. This is very much. And look, there's another one of those uh, things that they were reproducing. I'm gonna see if I can find them in the city so I can show you guys, okay? There's another one there. And they also look like um, the gods of of Santeria, you know? These these are very resembling of, you know, what they look like. It's all very, very interesting. I love this. I'm already loving this museum more. I love this piece here. <clears throat> I'm loving this museum even more already. We just got here. We still haven't even gotten to the museum. This is like the, the outside of it. Look at this. at that right there because um, actually yesterday in the morning when we were waking up you know there was all kinds of vendors you know walking around downstairs you know and there was this one guy you know they were selling brooms selling bread selling vegetables selling all kinds of things and then there's one guy was like uh, poison I'm selling poison po do you have cockroaches I got poison you got rats I got poison do you have uh, um, a mother-in-law I got poison <laughs> that was the funniest thing so anyways all right we're on our way upstairs you know we're gonna go Three stories up. We're on three stories up. All right, I can see the museum up ahead of modern Cuban art. So we're on the other side of Utopia. Less reflections of this, like the reflections of history. It's nothing personal. This is the mirror to enigmas. Cuban to, to Cuban enigmas. So I guess this is like the kids, children's.
This right here is the most famous Cuban of them all. I know, you guys might think it's Fidel, you guys might think it's some other people, but it's Jose Manti. Look at this guy. So these are, there's like cloth, it's like, how does this, what's this it's process a collage. called? It's like a collage, look at that. She said, that's her favorite, these are her favorites out here. Yeah, these are very nice. And I like this one as well. Yeah. Wow, 1971 for this one, it looks so modern, right? Like if it was just uh, made uh, recently. Wow, that is incredible. Yeah, and some and some of these over here that we just that I just showed you like a couple seconds ago, all these are also from like the 60s and 70s as well, which is also very very interesting. Yes. 
Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. oh, ok, ok. Eso se le llama petatillo. Oh, ok, ok. Yeah, yeah, you know, so you guys know those chairs that are like, um, they have, they're wooden and then they have like that weird, um, you know, the seat and the backing is with this, that wooden, um, background or material or whatever. That's what they used here in order to make that. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I have no idea if I explained it correctly. I hope you guys understood it. It's como un transfer de. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, if you guys want more art knowledge, you gotta reach out to her, okay? I'll put you in contact. <laughs> she can't wait. <laughs> art lessons are, what is it? Art lessons are $40 an hour, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hey, that's actually a bargain, 40 bucks an hour, you know, come to think of it, so. You know, um, just to get a, a ride in one of the classic cars and get a little bit of a tour is around 40 bucks an hour, so. It's actually a steal. <clears throat> I think she's better with the camera than me. Let's look at more stuff over here. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm so lost. I've already gotten so many circles in so many different directions. I don't even know where I am exactly, but I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I'm sure if you guys are still watching at this point, you guys are enjoying it. Look, 1967 for this one. Well, that looks like, that looks like a Delic 1967. It was very psychedelic, huh? See, look, this was look, this was this was look like very sixties. Look, this is nineteen sixty six, sixty seven. Was it sixty seven, nineteen ninety? I'm on eighty <laughs> one. What what are you guys, huh? What are you guys out there? When were, when were you guys created? <laughs> so look, let's just look a little more at this one. 61 for this one. 62. Wow, I mean, this is not, I mean, this looks like so much, like modern, 61. This one. 60. 1960. So the revolution, the Fidel Castro took over and the revolution was in 1959. This is 1960. So a year later. Look how big this is. We haven't even scratched the surface. I love this piece. I love things like this.
check out some of these ancient artifacts out here. Oh wow, look at cookbook. 1922 cookbook. Wow. Okay, I gotta go downstairs so I can get another battery real quick. Oh, the rain is here. Look at that. So many people waiting for, for buses and for rides because there's absolutely zero gasoline. Again, we'll talk about that more later, but well, it's a good thing we're in here doing that. So I'm gonna go get the battery. I'll take you guys with me real quick. And, Hopefully we won't get lost because I'm already fucking lost as like a motherfucker. I really am lost. Anyways, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm, I'm having a blast, you know, going through this museum and, and filming and showing you guys. And, you know, it's funny. If you guys see me filming a little weird, it's literally because um, I don't think I can film. And I'm just uh, pretending to, to take pictures and stuff. Okay, I know where I'm at. All right, I'm going to go get that new battery and uh, I'll be back. All right, okay, got the new battery, we're on our way back up. It's hilarious, you know, so it's raining, it's just passing through, so by the time we're done in the museum, no more rain. But see, look, right now I was telling the lady, hey, um, you know, I'm just here because I need a new battery, blah, 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 and you know what she told me? She's like, oh man, so you, you must have been getting some really good footage, you know, because uh, you ran out of battery. <laughs> it's like, bro, every, everything is all over the place. All right, let's uh, show you some more, look at this. So that's what you do on uh, Cuba on a rainy Saturday afternoon. You go to the museum.
This is the best description of Cuba I can honestly, you know, again, Walmart, Walmarts, you know, what's the difference, right? You know, I think. But yeah, man, see how fucking random it is, you know, where, you know, I, I get to film some area, depending on the security guard, depending on whether I get to film or not. I'll, I'll talk more about that later, but again, I think I already touched on that maybe in the other video or maybe earlier today, I was too, you know, just some people who really take their job really seriously, you know, there's, don't, and, um, you know, and in this case, the ones that take it really, really seriously are, you know, the ones that are really down with the government. The ones that don't take it that seriously, you know, not so much. So remember, here, the government is the company, the corporation, your, your boss. You know, back home, you know, we're used to having a government and then having the corporation and, and you know, and all that stuff. You know, the business to be our boss. And, um, you know, some people are, you know, brown nosers, you know, always um, trying to do whatever they got to do um, at work, you know, to... to to be the best one, you know, <laughs> and you know it never ends well, and and vice versa, you know, you know that there's plenty of employees that don't give a fuck, and a lot of times, you know, they're the ones that that get, you know, um, all the stuff. All right, I forgot what I was saying there, but okay, is that is that look? That's uh, Columbus, I think. All right, let's move on to the next section. Christian's already there waiting for me. I think I already filmed over there, but I think we have more floors. More, more to go. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna pretend to be, uh, no filming, no, no video. <laughs> this is their point of view. I'm sitting in the chair. We still gotta go upstairs, one more. 
just sit here. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna rest a little bit. I'm gonna walk in a lot. I'm tired. I think these are pictures of before the revolution. So obviously you can see why Fidel was able to gain um, a lot of popularity. No, 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 I'm taking photos, I'm taking videos. Thank you. No, 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 sí, no, porque estoy tomando fotos rápido porque hay tanto para pa capturar. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> But yeah, man, the more time I spend in communism, the more I realize that the U.S. is this close to being communism. I mean, I, I guess I wasn't wrong, you know, even though... I'm always saying it, one thing is actually experiencing it, and you're like, holy shit, this is just like the US, only without computers, that's it. Other than that, so it's like, the communism here has been going on for a very, very long time, and um, well, you already know the US it used to have freedom, and the US, US used to be something completely different, and now, again, we're just a few presidencies away, just a few years away, just a few mad, bad uh, missteps away from turning into this. And after being here and seeing all this stuff, the, you know, I realize more and more every day that, yeah, this is, I mean, for real, the U.S. is really going down a really, really dark, horrible path. And it's funny because in the area where I can't film the most and I even got in trouble, they call the supervisor and everything, is in the area that's like talking about communism and talking about, you know, Yankee, United States imperialism. And it's like the whole thing. And then all the stuff that we're watching here, you know, we're looking at up here, just, um, you know, well, you, you've seen a few of the things already up here. They're very um, critical. Ways. I, wish I, could, I wish I could get this video somehow so that I can show you this video as part of the video that I'm filming now because this is beyond incredible. Um, she's an incredible artist and uh, it's really, really cool. So yeah, she was like a performance artist. She left Cuba when she was 12 years old, you know? I'm like a lot of people did because of the revolution and all that stuff. And then she was raised in the United States, eventually went to Mexico to really hone her, her you know, her new, um, she was a painter before and now she, and then she became this, you know, doing this kind of art. And um, she, you know, found her way in Mexico and eventually went back to Cuba to do all this in Cuba, all around uh, the beautiful nature. And um, it's just really incredible, really cool. That's in Malecon right there in La Habana. So she must be like 70, 80 years old right now. But yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I mean, this is really, really fun. I, I love, I love art, I love museums. I know most people come to Cuba to do all kinds of other shit, but You know, this is one of the things that I really wanted to do when I came out here, was to see this kind of stuff. And have you noticed, we went to like several museums, even like a pharmacy museum, because, I mean, I don't know, man. You know, it makes me really proud, and I'm getting really inspired being out here as an artist myself, and um, yeah, man, life is a fucking beautiful thing, man. It really is. It's cool stuff. All right, let's go back to look at more art. Mm -hmm.
check to make sure that they're selling bread at the right price. Government controlled pricing. guys well the end of the adventure is here so we literally have our bags packed the guys waiting for us downstairs and we're running late to the airport you know the usual <laughs>